to a DJI Fusion drone with a upgrading firmware. I recently purchased DJI FPV Plus 2 extra batteries and some third party antennas. I upgraded it on accident, not knowing you're not supposed to. So I simply took it back to the store and exchanged it for a new drone. Now I have a new kit. I've been trying to find a solution for a couple of days now on how to activate the controller drone and goggles without upgrading from 20 to 15 firmware version. Any ideas on how I can do this? I've seen mixed opinions on this. Some say pull up the cable right after activation, never connect to the app again, but I'm just hesitant. Does anyone have any insight? If we scroll down a little bit, um, we can see that someone provided a link with uh, some uh, process to follow and somebody said it works. Like it's been tested like seven hours ago. To be honest with you, I've never tested myself because I'm still on the 20 version, but we'll go through this website and we'll see what they say so activating the dji fpv combo this guide will walk you through getting your brand new dji goggles plus fpv drone kit activated without having to flash the dreaded 0015 firmware i highly recommend reading through the whole thing before jumping in so you don't rush ahead at any point and miss critical nuances please bear in mind that since this uses official Netflix to activate your devices it may stop working at any time if this is the case please contact us on discord or open an issue so we can update the guide to reflect this finally keep in mind this will very likely void your warranty so what you will need i'm not going to read that i'll, I'll let you go through it you check it out yourself what you need so the first section is activating the goggles start up your goggles and navigate to settings about switch to dji digital fb system last entry in the menu you'll need to scroll down restart your goggles when instructed to do so on screen if you don't see this option try pairing your goggles to your fb drone without activating or going online restart the goggles and check again if that doesn't work take your pc offline and connect your goggles to the dji fpv assistant 2 on your pc and then check again if the option to switch modes showed up if you're not based in the us you may need also to use a vpn to log into the fpv assistant 2 while connected to us server then go offline completely before connecting the goggles to assistant if you still don't have the option your goggles have a very old factory firmware and you'll need to download a separate drone hacks goggles flasher data here and flash the v01020000 with it then try all the above steps again now that you are in the hd fpv system mode aka do-it-yourself mode used with custom built quadcopters connect your goggles to your pc activate them the dji fpv assistant 2 and upgrade or downgrade the firmware to v01000606 ignore the current version as shown in the header of the assistant window reflash the firmware in any case in order to be able to get rid of a forest update state in your goggles later we need to root the goggles with margarine while in do-it-yourself mode open up the common prompt navigate to where you downloaded and extracted margarine to get everything ready run space install now power up your goggles connect them via usb and run node space margarine.js space unlock if you get the error waving wind comma result space e zero restart your goggles and try again if that doesn't help check out the troubleshooting tips in the margarine readme now you should see the following in the common output device should be unlocked try adb devices navigate to the folder where you downloaded and extracted extracted adb and run adb space shell you should see the following output not going to read that i'll let you just copy and paste it type exit to close the debug connection for now activating the drone use the drone x client you downloaded to flash the v01020020 firmware you downloaded onto the drone now no license or login required don't worry 0020 is actually older than the notorious 0015 and while it does prevent you from hacking the drone it can later be downgraded to vulnerable versions make sure to read the whole proceeding paragraph before proceeding or you'll get your goggles in a bad state connect your goggles 
vocals with the drone and remote controller powered up and bound to the DJI Fly app on your phone and activate the drone. This is very important. Disconnect your goggles from your phone as soon as the drone is done activating and the goggles 0015 firmware starts downloading. Don't worry, it's safe even if it's managed to already start uploading the firmware to the goggles. Your goggles will be now in the forced upgrade state. But don't worry, we can fix this since we wrote it with margarine. Fixing the goggles forced upgrade state. Connect your goggles back to your PC and go back to the folder where you run where actually not run. Eddie B space shell rm space slash cache slash force underscore upgrade set pro space dji dot crop dot enforce underscore upgrade space zero reboot congrats the force upgrade state should be gone all your devices activated and everything in the hackable state you'll get a warning of a firmware version mismatch on the goggles and drone but this can be dismissed such is the price of freedom as far as we know this shouldn't cause any actual problems with flight if you want to purchase a drone x license to remove some limits on your drone then now is a good time to use this free version to downgrade your drone back down to v01020000 drone x pro license will also allow you to root your drone for low level access if you so wish have fun and fly responsibly. With great power comes great responsibility. Don't stain the FPV community's image and get us regulated even harder by doing stupid stuff in new fly zones. If you are the idiot that gets their stunts on the news, will laugh really hard at you and never talk to you again.